Welcome to Academic Guru's Tutoring Thursday, where we answer all of your high school, college, and university questions. If you would like your question to be featured on next week's Tutoring Thursday, please submit your questions to questions at academicgurusinc.com. Don't forget to subscribe so you can stay current with all of our new videos. Today's question comes from Rashid Bell, and it's in reference to a previous tutorial that we did entitled Math Question, Finding the Derivative, and I invite you guys to have a look at that. His question asks, can you explain how you factorized an x squared from x cubed and x to the power of 4? So again, here we have a polynomial, and for the purpose of answering this question, we will focus only on the factors x cubed and x to the power of 4. The idea behind factoring a polynomial is that you're trying to break it down into its simplest parts and then you're looking to find a common factor. So let's do let's try that. Here we have x cubed and if we break it down to its very basic components, you could start off with 1 multiplied by x cubed. Another factor would be x multiplied by x squared. You should be able to verify that the sum of the exponents of the terms that you are multiplying equal the exponent of the final term. So if we take this last example here where we had x squared multiplied by x squared, you will see that the exponent 2 plus 2 equals 4. Now that we've determined uh, the factors that when multiplied together equal the polynomial, our next step is to identify the common factors. So if we take a look at our column here, we find that x cubed is common to both sides of the column. Just as well, x, we find that x squared is common to both sides of the column. And this is precisely what we used in the previous example. We could have just as well used the factors x cubed, and the answer would have been just as correct. And just to uh, demonstrate that, I will redo this qu uh, problem, but instead of factoring out x squared, I will factor out x cubed and you will see that we will arrive at the exact same answer. So here I'll start off with our original function, f of x is equal to x to the power of 4 multiplied by 5x minus 1 all to the power of 3. Now if we take the derivative, we'll follow exactly what we did previously until this point where we are now factoring out x cubed instead of x squared. By taking out x cubed and 5x minus 1 all to the power of 2, we are left with 20x minus 4 plus 15x. And if we gather all our terms, we are left with x cubed multiplied by 5x minus 1 all squared multiplied by 35x minus 4, which is exactly uh, what we had in our previous answer. So there you are. I hope you found this helpful. Thank you for tuning into our Tutoring Thursday channel. If you enjoyed watching this video and found it helpful, please give us a thumbs up, comment, and subscribe. We would love to hear from you. Until next week's Tutoring Thursday, happy studying.